extremely happy to have a whole friend of the church, Dr. Salvan Chetty. And, uh, <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> okay. He's going to come forward and he's going to bring a greeting from his church. And he's also going to introduce the speaker. Would you give, a, hey, give him another hand? Praise his name. Dr. Salvan. It's indeed a joy and a privilege for me to greet you in the wonderful and glorious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. David says in Psalms chapter 122 and verse number 1, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm excited that you are glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Psalms chapter 16 and verse number 11, in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy at his right hand there's pleasures forevermore Hallelujah. hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 forsake not the assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is one comes with the word one comes with the psalm and aim that we might be perfected as we see the day approaching now if you know that jesus is coming again Amen. he's coming for a sanctified church he's coming for a holy and a separated church and he's coming for a prepared people. You can't sit in your lounge and in your couch and have church. That's called spectatorship. Sitting in your lounge watching TBN, Fate Channel, God TV is spectatorship. But when you come into church, you come into a partnership and fellowship with God. It's indeed a joy and a privilege for me to be at MFC. Thank you and my respects to Dr. Dan Chillen for allowing us this privilege. I have a whole lot of guests from America, nine of them in fact. So they come into our church this morning and Pastor Maxwell Saar comes from Kumasi in Ghana. He's the senior pastor of Unique Grace Chapel. And he's one of the coordinators for Christ for the Nations, uh, Reinhard Bonke's ministry, and he is the official translator. It's the first time for him to come to South Africa, and he's staying in his hotel. His hotel is my house. <laughs> and I'm blessed to have had him for the last two weeks, and he's been ministering. And I know this morning that there is a tremendous word of impartation if you would open your ears and perceive the word of God, something good is going to happen to you. And so it's my joy and privilege to introduce him to you. As I run away, would you put your hands together and welcome Pastor Maxwell Saar. Hallelujah. Shall we stand? Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for your love and kindness. We thank you for such a time as this. We thank you that, Lord, you are about to give us grace. Impartation. I know the sick will be healed. The broken hearted will be encouraged. The demons will flee. Grace will come. Those who are in debt, that will be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. The heavens are open, Lord. We give you glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want us to still stand. Before I do anything, I want us to uh, pray two prayers. The first one, you know, the Lord ministers to me um, last uh, Friday that uh, the rest of the year is going to be increase upon increase upon increase upon increase. Put your hands together for the Lord. I want us to Turn our Bible to Genesis chapter 30, verse 43. Genesis chapter 30, I think they will put it on the screen. Genesis chapter 30, verse 43. And uh, uh, I, I think uh, the, the media people will help us. Bible says that, and the Lord increased Jacob exceedingly. I want us to pray that prayer. Please, can you lift up your hands? Say, in the name of Jesus Christ. The rest of this year, as it happened to Jacob, increase upon increase, 
in all areas of my life. I declare supernatural increase. Increase of peace. Increase of miracles. Increase of healing. Increase of financial breakthrough. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Rabakatoni mataya. Ragadoni tahataha. The Lord, there will be an increase, Lord. Randalibro akataya. Shabadi katarababa. I declare increase upon increase. I declare increase upon increase. I declare increase upon increase. Ratani mokuhaha. Radadoni matani kabahaha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The next prayer point is taken from First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 10. Apostle Paul said, May the Lord increase you more and more. More and more. Say with me, say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, increase me more and more. More and more. Enlarge me, Lord. Bless my life. Bless my family. Deliver me, Lord, from the powers of darkness. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Rakapa. Clap your hands and pray. Labrando. Libranda Katoni Messiah. Father, we declare increase more and more. We declare increase more and more. Rantani Agadaraba. Libobo Shita. Rakabato Rebakaya. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We plead the blood of Jesus over our life. Let the blood speak for our blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hold the hands of your neighbor. Say, my neighbor. I prophesy over your life. Do not be discouraged. Do not fear. Because the spirit of increase, the anointing of increase, has come upon your life has visited your house. Don't be discouraged. Don't be afraid. You shall end this year well. You shall end this year well. You shall end this year well. Come on, shout hallelujah. Put your hands together for the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated. Well, I thank God I thank Jesus Christ. He is the owner and the builder of this church. Put your hand together for Jesus. And I want to also take opportunity and thank Dr. Sylvan Chetty for the opportunity. Hallelujah. And then the one I'm coming to say, I want all of us to stand and honor our daddy and give it glory to God. Let's put our hands together for our father and our daddy. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, uh, uh, let me see that. Uh, you know, uh, when you read uh, Genesis chapter 23, verse 6. Bible said that Sarah died and they wanted to go and bury Sarah. Abraham wanted to buy a land. And the people told him, we won't sell the land to you. And then Abraham was still insisting. Then they told Abraham, you are a mighty prince among us. He said, you are God's chosen one among us. Our father is God's chosen one. Oh, our father is God's chosen one. You know, Sometimes, because every great man of God has been trained to be humble. And sometimes, because they have been trained to be humble, we, the members, sometimes take them for granted. But don't do that. This is a great man of God. You know, if you are not a church planter, then you will think things lightly. For him to build this church is a great wonder. And also want to thank our mother, Let's put our hands together and stand to our feet and honor our mother. Oh, stand, 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 stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated. Doc, I have, uh, uh, by the grace of God, I've been writing some books. And I just brought a few of them and I want to give it to you. So that maybe you take one or two and give to the rest. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Well, this morning, I'm teaching on the art of 
generous serving. The art of generous serving. You know, we all serve. We serve God. By the way, I'm Pastor Maxwell. I come from Ghana, as Dr. Chetty said. Hallelujah. The art of generous service. You know, sometimes we serve. We serve all right. But we serve little sometimes. And God wants us to be a generous servant. Hallelujah. He wants us to come out of our hearts to serve and serve and serve well. And I'm talking from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse number 10. 1 Peter 4, verse number 10. I think uh, the, the scriptures will be on the screen. Let's all look at this. Based on the gift they have received, everyone should use it to serve. Oh, I'm preaching with you to serve. To serve as good managers of the varied grace of God. Hallelujah. As you are sitting here, you have a gift. No matter who you are, you have a gift. You have a gift. Some, you know, when uh, the ladies were singing, it was amazing. The others were playing the keyboard. Somebody came to clean the place. Others are given to give. Others are given to intercession. Others are given to evangelism. Others are given to uh, healing and all that. God wants us to save. Service is a good thing. You know, one of the problems of this generation is always wanting to be on top. And it's very bad. When we were young, like daddies and co, the only word that was the day was the spirit of servanthood. God wants us to serve. But you see, there are ways we serve. There are ways we serve kings. There are ways we serve governors, serve president. It is called protocol and ethics. Sometimes we may be serving, but we may be serving wrongly. But this morning, I want us to serve generously. I want us to come out from our life. And I'm, I'm, my case study is a woman called Rebecca. Genesis chapter 24, verse 1. And to the whole verse. Abraham wanted to have a wife for his son. And he sent him, he sent the servant to go. And then the servant went to a place. Then he prayed. Then he said, Oh God of my master Abraham, a lady who will come and give me water and also serve the animals, let that lady be the wife. Of my master son Isaac. Let me tell you, there are a lot of ladies in town. But if you want to be a 